So will the buzz surrounding Deadpool and Wolverine lead to a massive weekend and revive the MCU? That remains to be seen. But if early reactions are any indication, Deadpool and Wolverine is going to be a huge movie for Marvel, for the MCU. But as far as saving the MCU, I don't think it's going to save the MCU. I think it's going to be a, a, a blip. It, 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 now, it, it'll point it in the right direction. That's for sure. But as far as saving it, I don't know. So here we have from Variety. Deadpool and Wolverine first reactions praise Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman's dynamite chemistry, epic cameos, a game changer for the MCU by Zach Scharf. First reactions for Deadpool and Wolverine are in and are overwhelmingly positive. The enthusiasm for the film comes at a much needed time for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which experienced rare flops last year with the releases of Ant-Man of the Wasp, Quantumania, The Marvels, and, well, I wouldn't say rare flops. They've been flopping for a while. The latest Deadpool film is the only Disney-backed Marvel movie on the release calendar in 2024 and marks the character's official introduction into the MCU. The sequel is being called Bloody Fun and a step in the right direction for Marvel by Film Press. Now, this is from comicbookmovie.com. Deadpool and Wolverine eyes a massive $360 million globe of debut as Ryan Reynolds downplays Deadpool 4 possibility. I didn't know there was anything about Deadpool 4. Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine arrives in theaters across the globe this weekend, and according to Deadline, it's currently eyeing a $160 to $170 million debut in North America for the biggest R-rated opening ever. I've got my tickets for Friday night. You have yours yet? It was hard to get IMAX tickets for Friday night. The trade adds that Deadpool and Wolverine is eyeing a $180 to $190 million international debut, meaning the three equals predict a global bow currently stands at $340 to $360 million. That's an epic start. We wouldn't be shocked to see the movie ultimately exceed expectations over the coming days. I hope it does. I hope it does really well. From what I've heard, there's a lot going on in this movie and the cameos aren't just cameos for cameo's sake. Uh, let's go to Deadline. Here it is. Deadpool and Wolverine to tear up the world with $360 million global opening, restoring Marvel Cinematic Universe glory box office preview. Again, they're, they're, they're trying to say this movie is going to save the MCU. This movie, I don't believe, is going to save the MCU. That's my opinion. That's also the opinion shared by a few others. I think it's going to be, from what I've heard, entertaining. It's going to be fun. It's going to be wild. It's a team-up. There's some comedy. There's action. There's everything you want in a movie without having to push a message. Now... Just for argument's sake here, I'm going to share with you guys a couple video YouTubers that have seen the movie, and here's their first reactions. This is the movie couple. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, give them a subscribe. Um, this is their first reaction. We just got out of seeing Deadpool and Wolverine, and oh my god, okay. Let me say this first. This is not a review. This is just a quick out of the theater thought and reaction. Our full review will be coming uh, on our channel once in Bargo Lift, which is I think like later tomorrow afternoon. So there's been no spoilers, no no plot. We're not talking about any of that. Just our initial reactions out of it. Obviously, you guys can already tell I'm very happy with what I just saw. They packed in so much within that two hour and seven minute. No minute, no time wasted. There is absolutely insane action. The story is really, really great. The dialogue is hilarious. So much so that I know we're gonna have to see this again because we missed a lot. But- Oh yeah, there's a lot that we missed in this. Yes, but within all of that chaos and craziness, they still found time to have those emotional, heartfelt moments. And most importantly, let them breathe. I, I, I cannot believe like they managed it. It's so good. Yeah, this movie is pretty much Deadpool to the max. I mean, it is completely off the walls. It has so much packed into it. I know I missed probably 
about 50% of the Easter eggs and the things that were said because there were punchlines after punchlines. So the audience was laughing. And then I was like, wait a second, what'd they still say? So there's a lot of stuff that I really need to go back and watch this movie again. And I think a lot of people are gonna go back and watch this movie multiple times. Yeah. Anyways, um, that's all we can tell you. We're not going to talk about anything else because we're keeping it so non-spoiler because we want you guys to be able to, you know, go to the theater and enjoy it and not have anything ruined. So that is that. Look forward to our actual review coming to this channel tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. So that's the movie couple. Now, an out-of-the-theater reaction wouldn't be an out-of-the-theater uh, out reaction without going and checking out Chris Gore and Alan Ng over a film threat. And their reaction. They saw Deadpool yesterday. So here's their reaction. Well, here we are right out of the... Oh, and can't forget about the popcorn bucket. If you have a chance, get a popcorn bucket. I'm going to try to get one Friday night. The theater, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. This is our out of the theater reaction. Yes, we got popcorn buckets. Alan, your thoughts? I gotta see this one again. This is awesome. Uh, a lot of great cameos, and not just cameos. not just cameos. There, these were parts were substantial, mm -hmm. and um, it's just what Marvel needed in terms of uh, just fun. Yeah. They made they made fun of everything <laughs> Marvel. They this made is what you want. This is what you expected. They made fun of Phase Four. They made fun of multiverses. It was all. It was like a Marvel roast, yeah. and a lot of great tribute to um, uh, the Joel. Fox, Fox, uh, the Fox Marvel stuff. Yes. Fox Marvel stuff. Anything else, Alan? You know, we're we're, we're going live later today. Or late tonight, so we'll talk then. But yes, but who this knows? This is amazing. Who knows when we're gonna upload this? You gotta get okay. All right. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, uh, it's it's a crowd pleaser too. Yeah. Whether you know, but hey, congrats, Disney. You're about to make another billion. Well, does Disney get the credit for this? We'll see. Uh, but we're right out of the theater, and I, the crowd the, loved it. There were a lot of things you couldn't hear because the reaction was so over the top. Yeah. Which means you're gonna have to see it twice. Yeah. Which is yeah. exactly what Disney wants you to do. Yeah, so the main thing was uh, it was very self aware and so many good, like, fourth wall breaking uh, jokes. That and I the thought. violence. And it is the most violent Marvel movie ever made, it's the most violent comic book movie ever made. So, well, at least uh, uh, Marvel Disney. Uh, anything else? Oh, let's do this. Let's go. All right. So shout out to Chris Gore and Alan Ng over a film threat. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to mine too while you're at it. So there you have it. Just a couple examples of out of the theater reactions for Deadpool and Wolverine. And the consensus is, is that it's going to be a fun time, fun movie. Comedy, action, fourth wall breaking, and um, to catch everything, you might have to go see it twice. So, again, is it going to save the MCU? Eh, that remains to be seen. But did Marvel finally do something right for the first time in probably three years? Sounds like they did. So comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. You got your tickets yet to see Deadpool Wolverine? You gonna see it twice? And what do you think of the reaction so far? While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video, share this video out there with your friends and family, and with that, I will see you guys later.